59. Noah. Two years later. I had just graduated. Happiness ran through my veins and I couldn't stop. Smile. It hadn't been easy, I'm not going to lie to you. Returned to college after. Having Andrew cost me a lot. I hated to leave him, but little by little. We adapted little. The obsession I seemed to have had for my baby. After they had tried to take it away he healed over time and, with Nick's help I once again felt safe and able to leave him alone. Someone to take care of him while I went to class and got my degree. Nicholas had been everything he had promised me and more. He swore to protect my dreams and ambitions and help me not have to give up anything and that's how it was. Nick, my beautiful boyfriend who would one day become my husband. We kept putting off the wedding until in the end we decided to do it. That we could get married without stress. Andrew was already a little man of two years old, he drove us crazy but being older we could leave him to his grandparents and take two weeks off to enjoy our honeymoon. I smiled with joy when I received the diploma from the dean of the faculty and I looked for my two favorite boys. Nick stood up from his seat as I turned happily on stage. Andy was clapping, sitting on Nick's shoulders, his hair untamed, disheveled like his father's and his happy little eyes for something he didn't even. He understood. My mother and Will applauded happily while Annabelle and Maddie. They smiled in my direction. Annabelle had gotten rid of cancer and had resumed her relationship with Nick. Maddie still lived with Will, but she spent weekends at company of her mother. They almost always came to our house, Nick's mother. She was crazy about Andy and so was Maddie. The girl had become everything. A beauty with blonde hair and the face of an angel. With her ten years old already, she made people turn to look at her. We all gathered at our house to have a small celebration for my graduation. The whole family and all our friends were there. In a moment, Taking advantage of the fact that I was left alone in the kitchen, Nicholas grabbed me by the hand and dragged me to our room. My back hit the door and his lips took hold of mine with infinite passion and tenderness. Tomorrow you will finally be mine, there is no escape, freckles, he said. Him kissing my neck with veneration. I still have time to leave you at the altar, I warned him, laughing. He responded with a strong bite on the shoulder that caused me pain and pleasure at the same time. His hand slipped through my flowing skirt and he lifted me up, forcing me to. I wrapped my legs around his hips, pressing myself against the wall. He held me, with force, without letting me move. Explained to me again that stupid idea about not going to bed until we are married. It had been Jenna's idea. She dared us to go two weeks without sex so that. On the honeymoon everything was more intense and romantic, according to her. I don't know what you're talking about, I answered, pulling him towards me and letting him kiss on the mouth. Our tongues intertwined and I moaned softly when his hand slipped into forbidden places, torturing me mercilessly. Is this breaking the rules? She asked. I threw my head back, sighing heavily and closing his eyes to enjoy her caresses. You've always been great at breaking them, I don't know why you worry. Now, I pointed out, writhing under his hand, looking for what I longed for. My body. Nick kissed the top of my breasts while his fingers continued to. Playing with my body. Come on, love, give me what I want, he said, whispering in my ear. And then there was a knock at the door. Nicholas stopped. I opened my eyes. My breathing heavy, my body trembling. What the hell are you doing? Said Jenna's voice on the other side of the door. Oh shit. Jenna, disappear, Nick ordered, giving me a pick and leaving me in the floor. If you don't come out right now. I cursed under my breath, hating my friend with all my might. Shall we return to the party? Nick asked me, having a great time. You're an idiot. I will pay you in the same coin. Nick backed me against the door and looked me dead in the eye. What makes you think that I am not suffering as much or more than you in this? Moment? One look at his crotch was enough for me to verify that what he was saying was. True. No sex until we are married. Our parents would be proud. I laughed at his last comment and we opened the door to face the heavy of our friend. Mommy, Andy said, extending his little arms for him to take him. Jenna, she carried it resting on her hips. His six-month belly was more than visible. Under her yellow dress, I took my precious baby in my arms and we went down together to the garden of our small house lion was watching the barbecue and William was at his side. Side of him. 
both dressed in an apron that said, I love the cook. Gift of? Jenna, of course. Andy shook himself out of my arms and I set him down. He ran away in. Direction to the swings where Mad was waiting for him with open arms ready. To play with her little nephew. Nicholas approached them. He adored those children more than anyone else in the world. World. I looked around me, my whole family was there, they were all faces. Smiling. The next day was going to be a great day. Sixty. Nick. I stared at the beautiful woman in front of me. She was so beautiful. That I was left breathless, she left me speechless. Damn, she had left me speechless. Totally knocked out when she saw him enter the church. All our family and friends were there, all the people we loved. They had come to see how we were united in holy matrimony. Noah was excited. Her eyes were shining, trying to contain her. Tears. Yes, I do, I said, pronouncing each word clearly. Noah, do you accept Nicholas Leister as your husband, to love and respect him? In sickness and in health until death do you part? My beautiful girlfriend smiled and fixed her eyes on mine. Yes, I do, she answered with a trembling voice. In the name of God and by the power that the Holy Church has given me, I, I declare you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Damn, she didn't have to tell me twice. I cupped her cheeks with my hands, and we melted into a kiss that left us both breathless. Our families. They applauded and I had to force myself to separate from her. You're all mine now, Mrs. Leister, I said, happier than I had ever been in my life. Noah smiled, shedding a tear that I wiped away with my lips. The celebration took place in front of the sea. The day was warm, perfect, and Noah. It was stunning. He had put on a dress that I was going to have a hard time taking off. How beautiful she was. The white lace hugged his gorgeous body and he descended already transformed into tulle in the form of a puff skirt starting from the waist. He had bare shoulders except for two thin strips of satin as well. White that crossed his back, highlighting his pretty figure. Her freckles. They stood out more than ever and he had a spectacular tan thanks to the sun that. I had been drinking days before the wedding it drove me crazy. Are you ready to go? I asked her, hours later while she was dancing. With her in the middle of the track. She had asked that they play, young at heart, for us and... Noah had cried emotionally when he remembered that beautiful night a few years ago. Before when I showed him how good a dancer he was. It had been the last night. We had been together before breaking up and I had wanted to remember her to make... Emphasis on a moment that should never have come to an end. Now for more years. Later, we danced it again, but this time having sworn to love each other too. Always. Noah looked around for his mother, who was cradling our little boy. Between her arms. She had stayed awake longer than any of us had. Expected. He had run, played, danced, and finally had fallen exhausted. It'll be okay, Noah, I reassured her, giving her a kiss on her forehead. It's never been so long without being with one of them. They'll have a great time playing with Maddie and eating cookies from your mother. Noah turned his attention back to me and smiled at me heartily. I love you very much, he declared, caressing the back of my neck. I leaned down to take hold of his lips. He needed to be alone with her. Already, we say goodbye to the guests and our families. When we had. Then to do Andrew, the scene took on tearful overtones. The little boy woke up when Noah picked him up in his arms. They had dressed him with a tiny morning coat and he was ready to eat it. My little prince, said Noah, kissing his cheeks, be good, will you? Agreement? I took it out of his hands when I saw that my new wife was. Their eyes moistened. If Andy saw her cry, it was going to turn into a full-fledged crying contest. I picked up my baby and lifted him into the air making him laugh. When I shook it, Against me, he hugged me and rested her little head against my shoulder. Nick, don't you think? I gave him a warning look. I needed to be alone with my wife. We were not going to take the child, that matter had already been settled. My mother approached and raised her hands for me to give it to her. Leave now. This dwarf is in good hands. My mother kissed me on the cheek goodbye and she left with Andrew. It didn't take long for the cries to disappear amid the noise of the crowd and the music. I approached Noah, who was looking at the point where my mother with our baby. Come on, I said, wrapping her in my arms. We have to go. Freckles. Noah turned to me and forced a smile. Yes, we better get going. People gathered at the door waiting to say goodbye. 
We ran until. Get into the white limousine that would take us to the hotel where there was. Booked a bridal suite. It was next to the airport because the next day we. We were going to Greece to the city of Mykonos. I had rented a house. Beautiful on the beach just for the two of us. We were going to spend a week there and then. Another in Croatia in a five-star hotel. He didn't want Noah to have to worry about anything. The last two years. He had only seen her study and take care of our son. She needed these. Vacation more than anyone else and I was going to give it to them in style. When we arrived at the hotel they welcomed us with all the paraphernalia of the. Just married. The room was huge and I had asked that they wait for us with. Champagne, chocolates and fresh strawberries. When we entered Noah's mouth was open. Have you organized this? Things that could be done with a call, right? Said. Teasing her and pulling her until she crashes against my body. Are you ready for me to make love to you until it's time to go to work? Airport? Noah looked at me, his eyes shining with desire. You said the flight wasn't until tomorrow at noon. I smiled wickedly. Exact. We spent the night loving each other tirelessly. I finally made her mine with everything. What that word meant. We undressed vehemently and ate. Kisses without respite. His dress was relegated to oblivion we made love. With care, with passion, with tenderness and wildly. We surrender to pleasure alone. How can you do when you are truly madly in love? Because if it were a crime to love each other madly, we declared ourselves. Guilty, 